As we look back over this series that we've had on discipleship, and we've looked at different aspects of discipleship, I realize that often those that are involved in this process and trying to give their lives away run into times of discouragement. That has happened for me. But in times like that, I have gone back over and over again to what I believe is one of the most significant promises in all of Scripture. And certainly it's been one of the most influential verses of Scripture that has guided me through the years. But in Isaiah chapter 49, 3 through 6, is a passage where both talks about discouragement, but also the hope of what God is promising to those who will believe him. It says here in verse 3, He said to me, You are my servant Israel, in whom I will display my splendor. But I said, I have labored to no purpose. I have spent my strength in vain and for nothing. Yet what is due me is in the Lord's hand, and my reward is with my God. So the writer, as God is interacting here and communicating through the scriptures, that the one that's receiving this, this word from God is expressing and saying, I've, I've spent my strength in vain and for nothing. Then in verse 5, the prophet says, And now the Lord says, He who formed me in the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him and gather Israel to himself. For I am honored in the eyes of the Lord, and my God has been my strength. He says, in this, in this time of frustration and wondering, have I, have I spent my strength in vain? He, he turns his attention to this. It doesn't matter of the results or what I see happening. I'm going to trust you. I will trust that you will accomplish your purposes. Then it says, now he said, it is too small a thing for you to be my servant, to restore the tribes of Jacob or to influence those that are right there in front of you. But I will also use you to be a light to the nations or to the Gentiles that you would bring my salvation to the ends of the earth. So the, the flow here is those that are laboring and feeling like they're laboring and their, their purpose is in vain, then coming to the conclusion, no, I will trust God, I will make him my strength. And then God saying, because you've made me your strength, I will fulfill this promise. It's too small a thing just for you to be my servant, but I will use you to take the reality of who I am to the ends of the earth. He wants to do that through you. He wants to do that through me. And he wants to be faithful to fulfill the promises that he has made to those who will believe.